are attending The Tempest. Your show will begin momentarily. In the meantime, please feel free to kick back and relax in our lobby.
to drink. Take stock of your interdimensional bits and bombs, and conclude all use of the facilities. But without further ado, may we present your show. scared the bejesus out of me. Hello, hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to my home, or I guess I should say our home for the next little chunk of time. My name is James, and I'm going to be your spirit guide. Sure, right over the, right over the edge. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a spirit guide. I'm an actor, and I'm out of work, and I'm here because, you know, well, I wanted to do a show in real life, but you can't do anything in real life right now, can you? <laughs> exactly. So here we all are. Isn't this amazing? Come gather around the... Uh, oh, well, it was, it was a bit larger of a fire earlier in the night. Hey, you guys, you want to scour the yard a little bit, find anything that looks like it's combustible, toss it into the fire here. Let's get it going. Yeah, there you go. Yourself. I see. That's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> Stark Mask. Yes. Ah, you're so excited by that. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, indeed. There we go. Get it going. That's a fire. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, friends. Gather around. Warm yourselves up. I know it's not real, you know, but it's still satisfying all the same. There's something primal, ancestral about fire. It makes you feel safe. Yes, indeed. Reminds me a bit of the Decameron. Do you guys know the Decameron? You guys know the story of the Decameron, I'm sure. Yes, it kind of. No, not really. That's all right. It's a really, really old story. It's about, thank you, thank you. It's about a group of people around a fire telling each other stories to entertain themselves while they were waiting out the bubonic plague. Yes, that is what this story is about. It's one of the first novels ever written with the camera. Kind of familiar, no? Sounds a little familiar? Having to tell each other stories and the terrible plague is out there in the world. Anyway, we'll just leave it there and begin our tale, shall we? You, you're in the fire, <laughs> so let's just jump right in. Strike while the iron is hot, so to speak. Our story begins with the truth. I, just like you, am in two places at once right now. I'm standing in my apartment in Los Angeles, and I'm here at the fire with you. I hope to God that through the course of the evening I don't run into a wall or stub my toe or anything like that. But things are bound to happen. Being that I'm in Los Angeles, we may hear a helicopter or some sirens or, you know, gunshots because it's Los Angeles. Don't be alarmed. All the world is a stage. Speaking of which, we were here to act, I think, right? Everyone's here to play and have a good time and jump in and use your imagination and act and such. If you don't know, you're here to jump into the winter's tale. No, I'm kidding. It's the Tempest, of course. Yes, indeed. It was by William Shakespeare. Yeah, clean it off. Clean it off. Thank you. Just get it, get it all done. If you don't know, the play of the Tempest begins with a storm in the middle of the ocean, rocking a ship back and forth, hundred foot waves. These sailors on the ship are terrified, fighting for their lives. It's so exciting, we're going to do it in person. You three, that's right, you are going to be my sailors. We're going to send you up there to the balcony. I know that you can't say anything, don't worry. I'm going to say all of your lines for you. <laughs> I need the practice anyways, you know. Um, but uh, I want you to get acquainted with your props. That's anything you can pick up and use during the scene. I want you to get acquainted with the space once I send you up there. And I want you to warm up, warm your bodies up. You know, a lot of what we're going to be doing in this next little chunk of time is very physically demanding. Probably the same as like a million push-ups. So make sure that you're nice and warmed up and we'll get started. All right, friends, are you ready? Indeed. Without any further ado, away you go. All right, take a look around, which means that you and I are going to be the backstage crew. What, what? True story. Um, you know, as I was working as an actor in Los Angeles, I also happened to work uh, behind the scenes. I built sets for theater. I did. And what I learned is that a lot of the magic 
that you see happen on the stage comes from the backstage crew, you know, an army of people that said, oh, right, set it up, you know, and, and we all work together. So what we're going to do is we're going to help them get into the storm. We're going to use these flashlights, put them on and off, you know, create the storm. Go ahead, snap along with it for the thunder. It's thunder that shakes the very bowels of the ship. How are we doing up there? Yeah, we need someone to pilot the ship. We need two people to tackle the sails, get in there. You know, I need to see some rope pulling, some sail management. Yeah, very good. All right, let us begin. The play begins. The curtains part. The stage directions read a tempestuous noise of thunder and lightning. There's hundred mile an hour winds. Rain is pelting your face. The sea is rocking your very uh, foundation. And someone is shouting orders at you from the distance. Hi, my hearts. Cheerily, cheerily, my hearts. Yah, yah, take in the top sail there, mask. Tend to the master's whistle. Blow. Blow till thou burst thy wind, if room enough. Very good. Oh, no. Watch out. There's a giant wave coming. It's about to slam into the side of your... Boosh! It's got you. It's almost going to knock you over. you, you got to throw everything overboard. The ship is too heavy. You're going to sink. Throw everything overboard. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. The wind has caught your sail. Take in the top mast. Bring her to try with the main course. Oh no, it's too late. You're going over. There's only one recourse left. You're gonna have to jump, Masks. Jump. Quit the vessel. Plunge into the foaming brine. Jump! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Round snaps all around. Yeah, why don't we dab it out? Because uh, that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we need to strike now. And like I said, I'm going to say it again. Strike while the iron is hot. Let's take this and kick it up another notch. Bam! That's right. You're ready. Why don't we Why don't we make this thing happen for real? Our imagination is fun, but you know it's funner than imagination. Magic. <laughs> yes, indeed. So here, why don't we use the magic in your masks to take us to that moment? We're going to restore. These are pieces from the ship that actually sunk at sea. That's right. Hold your mask out in front of you. Place the stick on top of the mask. Let it go. Just going to float there. Snap into the center. Then move your hand counterclockwise around the edge. Snap into the center. Snap into the center of your mask. Almost. Almost had it. That's all right. Yep. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Go. Hey! Nice! We got there! You see that? <laughs> You see this vessel here? You have performed to the point the tempest that I bade thee. The scene has been set, but there's more work. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to this shore. Go, make yourself like a nymph of the sea. Be subject to no sight but thine and mine, invisible to every eyeball else. Come. Let me see you take these shapes, Mask. How would you be invisible? Yeah, oh, taking your mask off. That's a good one. That's a good one. You all are ready. Here we go. Hold on tight. I'm going to summon my spirit, Ariel, to take us there. Come, my Ariel. Approach! I boarded the king's ship. Now in the beak, now in the waist, in the deck, in every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of most sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves tremble, yea, his dread trident shake. All but the mariners plunged into the foaming brine. They quit the vessel. Ferdinand was the first man that leaped. He cried, Hell is empty and all the devils are here! As he dove off the side of the ship, down into the waters where he met. A spirit Ariel Come my masks and hear my song full fathom five thy father lies 
and of his bones a coral made. Those are pearls that were his eyes, nothing of him that doth fade, but doth suffer a seed change into something rich and strange. See him sourly ring his knell. Hark now I hear them ding-dong bell. Hark now I hear them ding-dong bell. <laughs> Welcome back, Masks. You survived the storm. Oh, yes, you found my staff. You just go around grabbing people's staffs. No, this is a safe place. Safe place. Oh, you've got a little bit of water on your mask there. You might want to get it off, you know. If they rust, then you can't do magic. And that's like the whole point of the thing. Unless, yeah, unless you've got a staff. Very good. Welcome to the home of our main character for this story. Me. Prospero. I'm now Prospero. That's how that works. <laughs> you know, isn't that great? Oh, man. So, who is Prospero? Who am I? Well, I'm a wizard, do you see? I studied magic. I learned a few spells. I was the ruler of a kingdom briefly, but I got betrayed by my own brother who teamed up with my arch nemesis, the king of Naples. Together, they kicked me out of my home with my daughter Miranda. In the middle of the night, set me to sea. We encountered a storm. We ended up here on this island. There were a bunch of spirits trapped that I then, like, set free, but made them do my bidding and stuff. You know, you gotta... You gotta Gotta do what you gotta do, um, but uh, but here we are, and I built this home to approximate the luxuries that I was used to. All of these objects, including this staff, very good, very intuitive. I see you, Star Mask. I see you. All of them are remnants of my past life. You know, being a ruler of a kingdom, they have a story, a a, a memory imbued in them. It links us together for all time. Why don't you grab a few, bring them together, and I'll tell you a little bit about Prospero. Indeed. Yeah. That's good to begin at the beginning. Yes. Oh, there's an upstairs and a downstairs as well. There's a shelf here. You can, why don't you go explore for a second. There's a downstairs. If you go out and to the left, you'll see the stairs to get up. There you go. Have a look-see. I know. Yeah, I know. Which which object this time? Which object this time? Is there anything that really calls out to you? Look, this one this one got greedy. Got two objects. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all good. It's all good. Ah yes. It used to be a wheel. I know. Ah, two objects as well. Let's throw them. Let's well, actually no. We're gonna need you to hold on to them so they don't, so they don't just walk off on their own or get a crab. Nasty crabs. I think there are still crabs everywhere. Let's begin, shall we? Yes, indeed. To begin at the beginning, the dukedom of Milan was mine by right. You see, the ring my father gave me, the hat that was passed down, but through foul play. We came from things. My brother and thine uncle called Antonio did claim our dukedom for his own. Can you believe that? He's a jerk. A jerk, I tell you. And it happened because I wanted to study magic. Yes, indeed. For my study's sake, I cast my government upon my brother, and to my state grew stranger, being transported and wrapped in secret studies. Me, poor man, my library was dukedom large enough, but of temporal royalties my brother now thought me incapable, just because I wanted to learn magic. You guys know how cool magic is. I just wanted a little taste of it. Yeah, that's cool. But my brother had other intentions. Yes, yes indeed. Thank goodness my daughter was there though, Miranda. Oh, it was Miranda that did preserve me. 
She smiled with a fortitude infused from heaven to bear up against what should ensue. Yes. I have no idea what that meant. Here you go. There you go. Ah. Yes, you see my bottle? Oh. The ivy too, yeah. My brother, much like ivy, you know what ivy does? It's a, it's a parasitic plant. It grows like a vine, wraps stuff around the host, drains it of nutrients. Yes, indeed. Uh-huh. My brother did the same with me, you see. Uh, having both the key of officer and office, he set all of the hearts in the state to what tune pleased his ear. So now he was the ivy which had hid my princely trunk and sucked my verdure out on in this box. This, yes indeed. Go ahead, give it a little rat-a-tat-tat. You know what to do. The, oh, the bottle. Yeah, there you go. This is my memory. You see, contains one of the worst days of my life. Yeah, take a look. Take a look. Show everyone. In fact, why don't you pour it into the pool and stir the pool up with the staff, and that way we can have a bigger platform to see it. There you go. Just toss it in there. Just toss. There you go. And stir. Stir. Stir like the wind. Yeah, just like that. You got it. Wonderful. Come on over here, man. Get a good look at the worst day of my life. Not knowing whether I was going to live or die, if I had enough food, water. We had just encountered the tempest. You can see all of our stuff is tossed everywhere. I lost the good wine. I mean, I was at the end of my rope. You know. This is all we had. My people provided our escape aboard this rotten carcass of a boat. It wasn't rigged. It had no tackle, no sail, no mast. The very rats instinctively had quit it. But there they hoist us to cry to a sea that roared to us to sigh to the winds whose pity sighing back again did us but loving long. It's terrible. Well, makes you think. Makes you think. There is no life without pain and struggle, but it's, I guess what we do with it, how we overcome it, that really matters. I feel like I just laid myself bare to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, a hug is nice. Yeah, indeed. I feel like I can be honest with you, Max. Do you, do you feel that we have that connection of honesty like I do? All right. Well, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I really have to use the restroom. The sound of the water is not helping. And I drank a pot of coffee before starting this. Bad idea, by the way. So we're going to take a quick intermission. That's honesty right there. All right, friends. If this is your first time jumping through stories and traveling, please keep your masks and hands inside the field at all times as we jump through this. If you're getting nauseous, don't puke out in front of you. That's right. Puke out to the side of the wormhole so that another dimension will deal with that while we won't have to clean that up later. We know that you have many choices when traveling in and out of stories, and we are just really pleased that you are here with us. Now, without any further ado, on to the intermission. Ba-boom! And look, we got marshmallows. What could be sweeter? There, enjoy your marshmallows. And I'm just going to uh, head over into the bushes for a second to answer the call of nature. It sounds much like I think it's a squash. God, friends, 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 friends. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, this costume is a rental, and I just peed myself. It's, it's in the sandals. I can feel it. It's when I when I walk around, it's squishing in there. Here, the star mask. Can you take this toilet paper? Oh, now you, now you, yeah. Can you, can you just mop, mop the pee out of my feet? Just mop the pee, the pee out of my feet. With the toilet paper. Would you, not in the fire on my feet. Just 
touch the toilet paper to my thank you oh appreciate that nothing nothing weird about that thank you for your courage and your bravery you know what they say friends who peed are friends indeed and also please don't stab me with a burning marshmallow i think that's the amendment on it why did you pull it out of the fire that i mean they say it's sanitary when it comes out but i would have just left it in the fire no i don't want to get burned with your marshmallow mike you've had one too many of those you're getting a little sugar crazy all right let's jump back into the story so you can run this energy off <laughs> trying to put me in a cage my goodness all right all right all right jeez everyone come together i don't want to lose anybody as we jump here we go and three two oh you were you, were you expecting me to say one welcome back to the story everybody here we are yes run around run around burn your energy off let's <laughs> take 60 seconds to yourself and just just have some fun and then we'll get back to the story. Oh my goodness, there you are. Well, 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 oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you know, equity does allow for one. Ah, so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, you are so right. One of the most important things to a story are how high the stakes are. What is at stake? And this story has some pretty high stakes. There's some love in it. After all, yes indeed, no story is complete without a little bit of love and romance, and this one's no different. Miranda, the daughter of Prospero, falls in love with Ferdinand, the son of Prospero's enemy, King Alonzo. Yes indeed, Ferdinand being the man who jumped off the ship when it was on fire, remember that? All the devils are here! And jumping into the water. And, yeah. So anyways, he ended up on this island. And he and Miranda are making googly eyes at each other. Do we have someone who feels called to answer the, the, the nymph, the spirit of beauty and, and wonderment that is Miranda? That is basically what we're getting to. Who's gonna, you're going to be our Miranda? Oh, perfect. Boom. Look at you. You've got, you've got a beautiful little flower crown on. Would you demonstrate it for me, Rob Mass? It looks just like that. That's what your flower crown looks like. Yes, indeed. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Now, who? you're going to be Ferdinand? You jumping on it? Wow. You, I like your initiative. That was that was great. You're going to get a cool little musketeer hat. Chevron mask, would you demonstrate that? For star mask. That's what, your, that's what your hat looks like. All right. Let your costumes inform your character. I want you, Cheese Mask, to be Star Mask's confidant. Star Mask, you're going to run everything by Cheese Mask and Crab Mask. You're going to go help Onion Mask out. That's right. You, Chevron Mask, you get to be the spirit of love. That's right. I want you to take that magic staff. You two are going to start on opposite ends of the island. So you're going to go over there by that tree. You're going to go over there by that tree. And when you feel called to it, you're going to go and bop them on the head. We're going to bring them a little closer together. Think of it like Cupid and his arrows. So just take, just take a little love tap with the staff and help them fall magically in love. Ferdinand, why don't you go with your friend, your, your confidant, there you are, over there. You know your job, feel the scene out. When things start to happen, give, give them a little bop bop to help them get closer together. Ferdinand, Ferdinand, uh-uh, over there. There you are, okay. We're gonna start the scene, I'm gonna disappear because I know it's weird to fall in love in front of your parents. We're gonna have fun, but not too much fun because we need to stay, I think, in a T for teen rating or like whatever it is. So, so just feel it out. All right, friends, I'll be back in just a second. Bye. Now that Prospero's gone, the mating ceremony can begin. Ferdinand, you look deeply into Miranda's eyes. Miranda, you just got a little bop from Cupid. You're gonna get a little closer to Ferdinand, just a little closer, that's right. Oh, you guys are feeling each other out. There's definitely some interest. Miranda, you turn to your confidant. You say, 
What is it? A spirit? I might call it a thing divine, for nothing natural I ever saw so noble. And hearing the voice of this angel, Ferdinand, you turn to your confidant and you say, Most sure, the goddess on whom these heirs attend. And then you speak directly to Miranda. You say, Oh, you wonder, if you be made or no. <laughs> no wonder, sir, but certainly a maid. My language, heavens, myself am Naples, who, with mine eyes, never since at ebb, beheld the king, my father, wrecked, wrecked. I'm dashed to pieces, he's dead. I'm crying because I'm so incredibly in pain. Can't you see how incredibly in pain I am? I'm I'm really showing emotion right now. There it is. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Yes. What are you going to do, Miranda? There it is. Look at that. Get in there. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. This is, this is true love right here. Good work. But this swift business we must uneasy make, less too light winning. We make the prize light. That's right. Gotta play it hard to get, Miranda. Wanna make sure that Ferdinand's not just trying to hit it and quit it. But you know his love is true. You say, there's nothing ill can dwell in such a temple. And Ferdinand, you've got so much pent-up energy that you're just looking for any excuse to throw down. And you've got one. You find a sword somewhere. Just turn over here. There, somewhere out of nowhere, you find a sword, and you challenge Prospero to a fight. Prospero says, not doing this. Spirits, defend me. That's right, and everybody gets into a huge fight with Ferdinand. Oh, no. Harrowing. Ferdinand is very good, but he is no match. Or a little bit of magic. That's right. Ha -ha. Your swords are now too massy for your strengths and cannot be uplifted. Your nerves are in thy infancy again and have no vigor in them, my friend. I'm so sorry. And uh, excuse me for this insubordination. I have a punishment befitting for you. Something I like to call manual labor. That's right. That's right. Because you tried to attack me with this stick, you have to gather all of the wood in this immediate area and pile it up. Because we're going to have a bonfire later or something. I don't know. We'll do something with it. But we got to clean it up. Why you? Because you just fought. Uh-uh. Get to it. Get to it, Miranda. No helping out. All right? You can talk to your confidants or the spirit of love, but there is no helping. I'm going to go to the store to get something for the bonfire. I'll be right back. Now that Prospero's gone, Miranda, you're not going to sit around and do nothing? No, you're going to help Ferdinand. You say, alas now, pray you, work not so hard. If you'll sit down the while, I'll bear your logs to the pile. Pray give me that. But you won't hear of it, Ferdinand, because you're a gentleman. You say, no, precious creature, I had rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you should such dishonor undergo while I sit lazy by. Oh, you. When you get up close, you stare into each other's eyes. There you go. Staring into each other's eyes. There you are. You say, oh, you. So perfect and so peerless are created of every creature's best. Do you love me then? Beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, and honor you. I am your wife if you will marry me. My mistress, dearest, I thus humble ever. My husband then? I, with a heart as willing as bondage ever of freedom, here's my hand. Oh, look at that. My daughter got engaged. This is brilliant. I'm very happy for you, dear. Very happy for you. Oh, the love here is so palpable. We can't fight this feeling deep inside of we. That's right. Remember those feelings. Hold on to them. Put them in your emotional Rolodex. Nope, no one knows what a Rolodex is anymore. Put it into your emotional Google Doc. 
and we'll come back to it later. All right, because we're gonna hightail it out of here, out of this part of the story, and become the villains of this adventure. Yes, indeed. How fun is that going to be? Where are the dukes and lords that have wronged Prospero? Uh, 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 bow, bow, bow. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> That's right. You're all very rich. Congratulations. But this mask right here happens to be the richest. That's right. You are the king. Congratulations. Yes, indeed. So we all have to do what the king says. Now, king, I've got uh, some sad news for you. You think your son is dead. He was partying on your yacht with you, and uh, and you hit this storm. It came out of nowhere as if by magic. And you washed up on the island. Now you're very hungry. You think your son is dead, and your men have that cannibalistic look in their eye that says if they don't get something to eat soon, it's going to be you. Do you feel up to the task? of making sure your men have got something to eat. Well, why'd you turn it golden? Now nobody can eat it. Are you up to it? All right, fair enough. That means it's time. I'll take that back, thank you. That means it's time to banish you to the far parts of the island to forage for food. That's right, you cannot be here anymore. In other words, you shall not pass! indeed go spirit go let's make this place look a little bit brighter than it did yes shall we 
All right, Miranda, hello, welcome. Where's our Ferdinand? Where'd our Ferdinand go? Are you? Ah, Ferdinand, yes indeed. There you go, Ferdinand. You are, you are together once again. Indeed, it's your wedding day, congratulations, dear. Yes, you're gonna get married. Or was it the other way around? You were Ferdinand and you were Miranda. That's the way it was. Ah, I see. Well, why didn't you say something sooner? You can switch parts however you want, you know? This is, this is the theater. We're not here to judge. I, I know, I know. There it is. Everything is back the way that it was before. And welcome! It said everything right. I know. Wonderful. All right. Now let's get the rest of the garden restored. I've almost done it, Spirit. I appreciate that. So we can get on with your wedding. Look, the gods themselves have come here to bless you on this, the day of your marriage. Fire, where we set the, the stick on top of the mask and snapped into the center and moved our hand counterclockwise. That's the one that did. Whoa! Whoa! Look! It's a sign! It's time for the marriage. Come, quickly, to the altar, everybody! Woohoo! Oh no! The room got cold feet. Someone's gonna have to step in. That's right. Can you handle the pressure? Will you step in and marry this unknown person? Wonderful. Hopefully the chemistry is there. Step on over. Miranda, look! Ferdinand's been here the whole time. Not changed one bit. Every, every way just like you remember. And the union is so fitting that the gods have prepared a little bit of a dance for you. And they're going to dance for your wedding. Here we go. Are you ready? A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Earths increase, boys in plenty, bonds and garners never empty. Vines with clustering, bunches growing, plants with goodly burdens bowing. Spring come to you in the farthest at the very end of the harvest. Scarcity and want shall shun you. Ba da ba da ba dum. So the gods sing their blessings on you. Ba da dum da da dum da da dum da 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 Lovely, wonderful. Now you two can become mask and mask. Go ahead, take it away. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Oh! Amazing, my daughter is married. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. Not only because you got married, but you got married to a very rich man without signing a prenup. In fact, this very rich man is the son of the same person that stole everything from us in the first place. So really, we've come full circle here with this blessing, with this amazing thing. Everything is set right once again. I couldn't have done this without each and every one of you and this really wonderful mirroring exercise that was going on. It was, it was truly amazing. As a father of the bride, I have something for each and every one of you. That's right. I couldn't have done this. Without your help. I know. Amazing. Well, this means our adventure is almost over, but we do have one last stop before we part from this illusion. So, let's get on to the epilogue. Here we go. Welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome. Now that everything has been made right through the marriage, Prospero decides to give up his magic and become mortal once again. So now, our revels are ended. Oh, welcome back! Well, you deserve indeed, you deserve a little bit of a... a little bit of a token of gratitude for making it through the storm. Yeah. You died there for a second, but we're happy you're here. Our revels now are ending. And these, our actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are now melting into air, into thin air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the golden temples, 
the great globe itself, yea, all which it inherit, shall dissolve and leave not a rack behind. <laughs> you see, we are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with sleep. <laughs> Come, friends. Let's dance. Let's dance together as we leave this venture. Yes, friends. Here we go. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Remember me on your travels. Remember me. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>